The player introductions are wrapped up. The starting fives for both teams. As we're just about ready to get this one started. Live coverage of the NBA here on 2K Sports. A happy Sunday evening to you and yours. Chris Weber is joining us at the broadcast table alongside Greg Anthony and David Aldridge on the sideline. This is Kevin Harlan. DA, it's all yours. Thank you, Kevin. LeBron James is tied for the third most MVP awards all time. He's also tied for the most second place finishes. Frank Vogel said it's a mistake to go season after season without voting the best player in the league as MVP. LeBron says, I should have more than four, but I don't cry about it. I bet a lot of the greats feel the same. Kevin? They probably do, and we certainly know how LeBron feels. David, thank you. A chance now to take a look at some numbers for DeAndre Jordan. In the last five games, you can see the trend upwards for effective field goal percentage. And it shows you how confident he's playing right now. Now let's take a look at the starters for New Orleans. The guard pair, Graham and Alexander Walker. Ingram and Williamson are the forwards. And it's Valanciunas in at the five spot. And for the Lakers. And they have their big three all out there. Westbrook at the point with LeBron and Davis at the forward. Jordan is out there with Kent Bazemore. And Greg, some players looking rejuvenated since the All-Star break. Does that short period of rest really make that much of a difference? It, it does. And oftentimes more mentally than physically. It's an opportunity to kind of hit that reset button and prepare yourself for that stretch run. Now here's Ingram. Pass to Valanciunas. Shot clock at six. To the left wing. Graham from outside. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Getting their first pick of the season at this Pelicans team. And while they swept the season series against them last year, making it pretty clear how much separation exists between the two teams. Yeah, a lot of people think the separation still exists, but I myself, I want to see what happens in this first game before I make that call. So it's the Pelicans now. And the Pelicans with the possession to the middle. It's stolen by Davis. LeBron James on the wing. And the dunk by James. Powerful presence on the court. It's hard to match James' strength inside. Bring him against Westbrook. Valanciunas dishes to Ingram. And he banks in the lane. And getting the offense started with a high-quality look down low. Westbrook with it. As you can see from his numbers, he's been a key component in their offense. He's averaging almost 18 points a game. That's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. About a minute and a half into the first quarter. Ingram against LeBron. Great D by him. Using his long frame to bother the shot. Some solid defense from Ingram. Here's Alexander Walker. What a terrific move that was. Alexander nice Walker. job getting inside for the layup. Got the D thinking. Jump shot. Gave a little pump fake. And then off to the races. Well, a lot of teams are going smaller these days, but big man Jonas Valanciunas still earning steady minutes year after year. Efficient scoring and a presence on the glass. He's able to punish teams inside if they want to play small ball. Here's Graham following the basket by LeBron James. A jump hook and Williamson with a nice bucket inside. I can't think of a better call offensively. Get Zion the ball in the painted area and let him go to work. Westbrook passes to Baseman. And Davis now top of the key. That one good for two. The Pelicans have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Ingram outside. 
about three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Pass to Alexander Walker. Six on the shot clock. Shoots over Bazemore. A shot by Alexander Walker. No good. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. And that one's good by Davis. Well, when the ball goes to Davis, to be sure they convert. He's such a reliable finisher. The pass to Alexander Walker. Back to Ingram. Williamson in the post. Lakers guarded by Davis. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. When you look at Zion Williamson's impressive scoring output, what also strikes you, Greg, is his field goal percentage. Yeah, I mean, this guy hits at just around 60%. Safe to say Zion isn't wasting many looks. He just attacks inside where few men can slow him down. And he makes the first. So much pressure on Williamson to be a legend out of the gate. He has Hall of Fame tools, but you have to give him time to refine those. And so he's able to get one of two. The Lakers in the lead. He's more for three. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll go to the line to shoot three. Yeah, good job trying to get a hand in the face, but you've got to be more careful. This is his first free throw of the game. Three shots. Three shots. He misses the free throw. Well, pro probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. He doesn't get the second one. Manages to convert the third one. The Pelicans trail. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, Ingram attacking. And Davis sends it back. And you see how the crowds lift big swats. Not only the wingspan, but the awareness leading the game. Clearly a foul. Line, and this is his Williams. second trip to the line in the game. Williams. That free throw, no good. Good on the second free throw. Now Westbrook still looking for his first bucket in this one. Passes it to Jordan. LeBron against Ingram. LeBron dishes to Westbrook. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Pass to Alexander Walker. Plays it up off the glass. Alexander Walker's got his second basket of the game. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Pass to James. Back to Bazemore. James looking around. 
And again, no good by the Lakers. Now, you don't see that very often. A wide open three is usually like a layup for him. Graham, the pass to Valanciunas. And here we go with Westbrook heading to the hoop. Finish off the break. This is Westbrook at his best, attacking, going strong at defenders, and finishing them. Here's Ingram. Right now, he averages nearly 23 points a game, a relentless offensive force. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. It's a seesaw battle. Both teams are pretty evenly matched, and the score reflects that. Now, here's Westbrook. Now the pass to LeBron. Back to Westbrook. Let's the three fly. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Westbrook's got five points so far. Oh, man, this must frustrate the defense. Westbrook makes the three look so effortless. Ingram up top, started by Jordan, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And this may not be the juiciest stat you'll ever get, but the development of Brandon Ingram as a free throw shooter early in his career was shocking. Greg, as we take a look at Ingram's free throw shooting, he went from a mediocre performer at the line to almost automatic after a few years in the NBA. And, and Kevin, it's a testament to the work he's put in. Uh, it was an area of his game he had to develop, and he didn't ignore it. And now his aggression on the court pays off with points at the line. And that one falls for Ingram. Well, think about the high ceiling that this kid, Brandon Ingram, has. I mean, and with his long arms, I mean, he could reach the rafters. And the Lakers making a change here. Anthony's checked in. And New Orleans also making a change. Birch is checked in. Old free throw is good for Ingram. Oh, not many players with the more steady hand at the free throw line than this fellow. Westbrook feeling it out a bit. Here's LeBron. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. You two players. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch and that could be a real difference maker here tonight and here are the pelicans now and so it's williamson who brings up the ball for the pelicans ingram dishes to williamson the stupendous finish in traffic williamson's got six they should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. This is it to baseball. James with it. Lakers passing it around. Outside Westbrook. Kicks the baseball. Shot clock at five. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for New Orleans. They've been effectively aggressive here in the first half. Driving to the hoop with authority and getting a lot of their points right at the rim. Yeah, they're showing some muscle also in the first half as well. And, and getting a lot of their points in the paint. Really like the balance they've shown. And he knocks down the first one. And the Lakers with some changes. Horton Jocker comes in for LeBron. Rajon Rondo subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Good on both. And the Pelicans with possession here. And here is Graham. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. It's good. Devontae and Graham. the Pelicans lead by two. 
and defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Pass to Bazemore. That one's in. His first bucket of the game. He was one for two. Decision pass from Rondo. No question. His credentials as a facilitator. Graham inside the line. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Now look, even if he had other places to go with the ball, that's a good shot. You, you can't blame him for letting that one fly. Rondo passes to Davis. Back to Rondo. Here's Horton Tucker. Covered by Hayes. Horton Tucker. That's Horton good. Tucker. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Driving inside. And it's Graham missing. Still plenty of time for him to contribute in this game, but it's a tough stretch he's going through. Not a piece of it. Now, here is Murphy. Nine points, last game out. Graham gets a wide open look. Buries the long range jumper. Graham's got five now. From the arc, Graham can become dangerous. I mean, he's got the accuracy to, to bury you. you know, the threes if you love him. Rondo passes to Carmelo. For Birch. And that one hits back iron. New Orleans in the lead. Sadoransky with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Uh, Sadoransky can get wily on the drive. I mean, able to duck and dodge his way to the shot. Rondo kicks it to Bazemore. Pass to Davis. It's Carmelo Anthony on the wing. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. The Lakers have made three of their first five foul shots tonight. Carmelo Anthony. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Well, you know, offensively, the style of Anthony's game, I mean, it just ages well like fine wine. I mean, he can go old school, back to the basket. He can stretch you out. And he's clutch. Bradley's checked in for Los Angeles. And the Pelicans also making a change. Hart, he's checked in for Ken Birch. Both free throws, good from Anthony. And so Sadoransky will bring it up for New Orleans. Last game matchup with the Suns, a, a tough loss there. Yeah, for that loss, you can credit their defense or lack thereof. Too many breakdowns on that end of the floor. And that's just the communication and, and the energy. It just seemed non-existent on defense, and that can't happen. Not at this level. Now, here's Hunt. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. With the drive, and Davis sends it back. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for Los Angeles. They deserve a lot of credit for the defense they've played in the paint here early. Contesting shots, blocking shots, just making life difficult on their opposing shooters in general. And also defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight, and, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Yeah, a lot of whistles here early, as well as foul trouble starting to be an issue. New Orleans is gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. The pass to Graham. Passes to Hart. He takes it in. Tries again. A rebound by the Lakers. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. 
I mean, that's a tough yeah. break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. The Lakers have shot 75% of the stripe, 6 of 8. Only shooting 71, really, on the season. So there is plenty of room for improvement. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. I mean, in a 6-3, Bradley is a plus defender thanks to his quickness and tenacity. Both shots good from the strike. Pelicans trail by four. To the inside. Here's Hayes. No good again that time. He's not an easy man to stop when he's attacking the basket. The D doing everything he can. Here's Horton Tucker. He's guarded by Murphy. Davis, the pass to Horton Tucker. Los Angeles with a fresh shot clock. And he makes that one. Well, if you're the D, you got to box up. That's just common sense because when you don't, he hurts you for this type of mistake. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Pass to Graham. And Davis sends it back. An even three on three break. 52 seconds left here in the first quarter. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. And now an eight point Laker lead. And the Pelicans with possession here. Pass to Murphy. Hart with it. Feeds it to Hayes. That shot missing. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. They come into this having outplayed the Clippers last game. Well, it helps when your opponent makes that many mistakes. I thought that was the story of the game and when they kept getting all those gifts they took advantage turnovers don't mean anything unless you turn them into point now here's Hart he's been patient so far nothing on the scoreboard yet just five to shoot they could use a bucket that one doesn't drop and so the first quarter is in the books Lakers on top they're up by eight, and the second quarter will be on the way when we come back. Well, Rajon Rondo winning titles in Boston and Los Angeles, and he expressed the difference winning titles then and now in the later stages of his career. Just having my son witness the opportunity of me winning at a later age of my career. I won when I was 21, but coming full circle many, many moons later, you know, my son's nine now at the time, so he was able to witness me win a championship, and that's probably the greatest feeling I've ever had in basketball. I can understand being able to share those special moments with the ones you love. And that's what it's all about. And for Rondo, who knows, but maybe someday we'll win even more as a coach. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? Aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. Yeah, governing the split-second chance opportunities. I mean, that's what has them in the lead right now. So with Davis sitting on the bench, this is who Frank Vogel is out there. DeAndre Jordan is out there with Anthony. Then there's Bradley. Then it's Kendrick Nunn. And it's Horton Tucker in at the three. And Anthony gets it to go. Go for a lot, Chris. The mid-range shot has fallen out of favor in the past decade or so. Do you think that trend will go the other way at some point? Well, let's talk about it, Kevin. Um, the mid-range shot didn't fall out of favor with champions. Golden State. Did they? Don't they shoot mid-range? Oh, yeah, they did. Uh, Toronto? Didn't they shoot mid-range? Uh, yeah, uh, I think so. Uh, let's see who was before that. LeBron's teams? 
Cleveland, Miami, did they shoot mid-range? Yeah. So I just want to change that statement and narrative. Everyone, check it out. Winners, yeah, they have mid-range games. Those that don't have any mid-range games, they haven't won a championship. And here is Los Angeles now, following the score by New Orleans. And Bradley gets it to go. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Graham against none. And it's Graham missing. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Floats one up. None can't get it to fall. The D making that layup look very uncomfortable for him. Good aggressive work down low. Now, here's Hart. Guarded closer. Man, when the ball's in his hands, that's as high percentage as it gets. It's just a fluke miss. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Back to none. Three-pointer. And he's good on the three ball. Nunn's got the lead up to 11 now for the Lakers. He'll do some damage if they give him that shot. Don't give him a clean look. Get out there on him. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. Checked in for the Lakers. Westbrook comes in for Avery Bradley. And so Graham will bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. 11-point game. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Unloads from 13. Great positioning on the putback. Oh, he's a sensational offensive rebounder. Valanciunas, he just has the nose for where to be when shots go up. And the pass to Jordan. Back to none. Drives to the hoop. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. Jordan's got his third assist on the night. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Williamson in the post. Working on James. Ask it is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Yeah, it's going to be Williamson shooting. That's on LeBron James. The Pelicans have gone four of six so far from the line. Missing a couple. throw no good for Williamson Lakers leading by nine down low and DeAndre Jordan throws it down and an elite passer to this position I mean James always seems to make the right decision and here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played and the ball out travels out of bounds it was last touched by none Kent Bazemore has checked in for the Lakers. Kent Bazemore. And here are the Pelicans now. They trail by 11. Five on the clock. Graham from outside. They grab their own miss. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Now, none. Five points in the game. Rejected by Ingram. 
seven foot three wingspan Ingram's reach makes him a defensive factor. Lobs it up for Jordan, an emphatic LU jam. And any lob to Jordan is about a sure thing as you can get. So athletic for a big with tremendous hands and big fella knows how to get in prime position for those alley-oop feeds. Here's Alexander Walker. 23 points for him the last game against Phoenix. And they kept fouling him. It only made him more aggressive. He wound up having a huge night at the free throw line. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. Here's Jordan. Alan Junis grabs the board. Pelicans trail by 11. Inside. Here's Williamson. And the dunk by Williamson. How about the inventiveness from Ingram? Not to only see his open teammate, but deliver the pass as well. LeBron outside. Pass to none. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. LeBron's got his fourth assist in this one. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Kicks to Ingram. Graham surveying the floor. Back to Ingram. Jacks up a three. Hands it from downtown. Ingram's got 11. Ingram spotting up and showing that that touch made him the second overall pick in 2016. The 10 footer. And there's another one for the Lakers. It's like to see the D with a little more energy out there. They kind of forgot about him. And Greg with Devontae Graham, you know he's going to shoot it. He has no hesitation letting it fly. Yeah, I mean, he's a solid three point shooter who believes he can make any shot. About two thirds of his shots all come from outside. So you know exactly what you're getting with him. He's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep getting open, they've got to keep feeding him. He's made two of his last five attempts so far at the line. Just hasn't found his form at the line here in the first half. Davis has checked in for the Lakers. Rondo comes in for Kendrick Nunn. Cam Burge has checked in for New Orleans. That free throw good from Williamson. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for Los Angeles. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Score of the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Well, a guy that simply brings toughness to the hardwood. Rondo, he isn't bothered by the contact. Here's Graham. Five points in the game. Ingram passes to Birch. Rondo against Graham. And Rondo with the basket on the assist by James. And now an 11-point Laker lead. Here's Graham. Pass to Alexander Walker. Birch with it. He's guarded by Davis. And Davis sends it back. And he's able to get it back. And so it looks like the Pelicans will retain possession here. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. And Greg, you were a hard-nosed defender. Would you be frustrated by what they're calling a foul today? You know, I would based on how I played, but if you grew up in this era, this is just the way the game is, and you have to adapt and adjust, and that's what you're seeing with the players. Guys can defend it every bit as good as they ever have. In fact, I would argue they're better defensively today because they're not allowed to grab and hold. So the league is focused on offense. The fans seem to love it, right. but at the end of the day, you still got to get after it. Defensive. Here they are. Your Laker girl. All right. Look who's coming into the court. Get loud. Here they are. Your Laker girl.
James against Ingram. Down to five on the shot clock. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. Again, New Orleans turns it over. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Lakers leading by 11. Westbrook passes to baseball. Pass to Davis. And they double up Davis. Ingram with the steal. And it's Rajon Rondo with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Alexander Walker passes to Graham. Now, here's Birch to the paint. It's stolen by Rondo. And they're losing their concentration here, guys. Just sloppy with the ball. Inside, Davis. And foul Davis. on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, Davis gets to the line a whole lot. And, and people don't talk at about it. He's an excellent foul shooter. About 80% Anthony most seasons. Davis. This is his first trip to the line tonight. An, an okay season at the free throw line for him so far. Sitting right around 76%. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. One of my favorite bigs in the entire NBA. When Anthony Davis is on the floor, it's appointment viewing only. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And here is Graham. He has five. Looking to end his cold spell. And now, here's Davis, the fast break opportunity. Baysmore misses. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take advantage. Now, here's Graham. They count on his contributions, currently providing 16 and a half points a game. He's disappeared this quarter. He can't get anything to drop. That's not going to help him get out of the hole. It's Westbrook with the drive. A putback. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Here's Graham. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. There's the pass to Ingram. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Davis, the pass to baseball. And that one falls, coming off of Davis' Davis speed. Baysmore's got seven. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Four rotations. I mean, slow help and just not enough toughness on the interior. They've got a lot to talk about. Anthony's checked in for Kent Bazemore. New Orleans also making some changes. Murphy's checked in. And Hart subbed in for Devontae Green. Alexander Walker passes to Hart. And here's Birch. Passes it to Murphy. Now Hart, six to shoot. 
sinks the three-pointer. And they're hitting the long-range shots that they were missing in the first quarter, but still have ground to make up. LeBron against Ingram. James, the bounce pass. Here's Davis. No good on that one. And it's the Pelicans taking it the other way. Hart with it. Going inside. And that one is good. Hart's got five. Oh, man, a solid score. You give Hart shots like these, he's ready to capitalize. Outside Westbrook. Pass to Anthony. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got his third assist on the night. Pelicans trail by 14. Ingram kicks to Birch. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That's foul number two for him. I appreciate the aggression, but that's already his second foul. He's got to play it a little safer. Now. And some changes here for the Lakers. Horton Tucker's checked in for LeBron. And it's Avery Bradley in for Rajon Rondo. And a change for the Pelicans. Sadoransky's checked in. Hart the pass to Murphy. Birch with it. Davis is on it. Pass to Hart. Over Davis. Rebounded by the Lakers. 17 points was their biggest margin. Chris, fitting, right, that Russell Westbrook began a charity called the Why Not Foundation. Because that Great. sort of sums up his attitude on the court. Put a challenge in front of him, and he'll say, why not? Yeah, he's always been fearless, and there's nothing he can't do on the court, period. And Russell's charity, you mentioned, the Why Not Foundation, does a lot of great work with young people in our at-risk communities. Here's Alexander Walker. Looking at his point production, he averages almost 11 points a game. Davis dishes to Westbrook. Gets it to go on the assist by Westbrook. Bradley's got his second bucket. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. And there's the pass to Birch. Sadoransky with it. The Lakers with the rebound. Davis has got nine rebounds now tonight. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Here's Hart. Knocks down the step back, Jay. Hart's got seven points for the quarter. And you can tell the defender not anticipating the step back. He was headed in the opposite direction. Westbrook against Sadoransky. Passes to Carmelo. Shot from 12. That shot, no good. And so it's Los Angeles with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much here with Frank Vogel. Coach, the point's coming with regularity in that first half. What's been the key? We're screening through physicality. We're cutting hard. We're moving the basketball. We're getting this out to ourselves. And it's showing on the floor, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive. And it probably has to happen quickly. You look at Zion Williamson, guys. In this game, he has been everywhere. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look they wanted. Yeah, working the ball, getting clean, quality looks. I mean, just efficient basketball through and through. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. So for New Orleans right now, underneath in the post, it's Williamson and Valanciunas. Alexander Walker and Ingram share wing duty. And it's Graham in at the point guard. And stolen by Williamson. Pass to Graham. Ingram outside. 
Here's Williamson. He's covered by Westbrook. And there's Zion Williamson on the assist from Ingram. And that's 15 points for Zion Williamson. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Following this one, they get to host the Mavericks. That will complete this four-game homestand. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. The Lakers have been getting it done at the line. 10 for 12. Anthony Davis. Pelicans trail by 18. About one minute played here in the second half. Davis against Ingram. He feeds it to Valanciunas. For three, just five on the clock. And the foul on Jonas Valanciunas. That is his first foul of the game. Oh, you can tell Valanciunas has really been working on his pass. Nice dime right there. I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Lakers leading by 15. Westbrook up top. Graham defending. Let's it go from 11. Westbrook, no good. The Pelicans shooting well. They're at 45%. him against Bazemore. Pass to Ingram. Rebounded by the Lakers. James in the post. Covered by Williamson. LeBron's shot is good. LeBron's got his third bucket of the night. Nice and steady so far in the second half. They're three for four. It's Ingram on the wing. Guarded by Jordan. And Jordan sends it down. And the one thing we know about DeAndre, he's a presence at both ends of the floor. He protects the rim on D just as much as he punishes it at the offensive end. Here's Ingram, and good, as it just snugs right down through the net. Lakers leading by 15. The pass to baseball. Cloak loose. Passes it to Graham. Here's Williamson, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. The shooting has been a bright spot for them. Otherwise, uh... They struggle with the This will be his fifth trip to the free throw line. Williamson. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Free throw, no good for Williamson. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And they double up Davis. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Davis has got 17. Oh, the defender plays tough, but Davis is tougher. Plays through the contact with the Thor. Tipped away and stolen by Bazemore. Dishes it to Westbrook. Pass to Jordan. LeBron outside. Clock at four. Over Ingram. They get a hand on it. Pelicans trail by 15. Graham from outside. Westbrook pulls it in. It's the look he wants and still no more. Tough knife. Back to Davis. Right block shot, and they double up Davis. Baysmore for three. Good. Nice assist from Westbrook. Westbrook's got five assists tonight. 
such a consistent night for him from the field. Whenever they've needed him, he's been their safety valve. And Bellinger is kicks to Green. Here's Alexander Walker. He's guarded by Davis. Good. By, uh, Williams has got six points in the quarter. Tough to stop. Rolling off the pick. Zion with great hands and agility. Pass to Baseman. From the arc. And another three for the Lakers. Point shooting since the half has been about as good as you could ask for. Baysmore against Graham. The pass to Williamson. Over Davis. And it's Williamson missing. Credit to Deep for not giving up on that play. He's a tough cover down low. Here's Baysmore. That's another one for him. It is fifth in just seven shots. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Well, they're playing well as a unit, taking shots they know they could make and building this lead. Valanciunas passes to Alexander Walker. Back to Valanciunas. Ingram outside. He squares up and Brandon sinks it. Ingram. Ingram's got 15. Yeah, and the smooth mechanics of Ingram excels. He excels at burying jumpers down on a consistent basis. James, the pass to Jordan. Ingram against LeBron. Got it. Good job in the low post. 11 points in the game. It's getting hotter the deeper we get into this game. I mean, he didn't give them much of anything in the first half. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. You have to like what we're seeing from Davis. Now, he's been a force inside. If they don't commit more bodies down low, he's going to keep destroying them in the paint. Changes here for the Lakers. Horton Tucker's checked in for Davis. Kendrick Nunn comes in for Kent Bazemore. Rajon Rondo subbed in for Russell Westbrook. And the Pelicans also making a change. Jackson A's, he's checked in for Williamson. Here's Alexander Walker. Defended by Nunn. Really left alone that time. Graham's got his third basket of the night right there. Wow, something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. Rondo scanning the floor. Takes it into the teeth of the knee and converts the way up. Rondo's got six. And how many times have we seen Rondo drop this to the road, man? I, I think that's what the defense was expecting. Alan Junis finds Ingram. Got it. Number Brandon seven on the night. Ingram. Seven for 11 from the floor. Jonas Coming off a big game. His confidence couldn't be higher. And coach knows it. Uh, and that's why they're running plays for him. They're getting him the ball and letting him go to work. And so Graham will bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. It's an 18-point game. Now LeBron. He's got 11. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside, getting good shots from close range. LeBron James. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Look, for mid-range, they've been deadly all day. It's really opened things up for them at the other end of the floor. Yeah, but don't forget about their points in the paint because those have been big. 
Los Angeles making a switch here. Anthony's checked in. Instincts, the power. I mean, Jay's remains a dominant figure on both ends of the floor. Hart, the pass to Birch. Here's Alexander Walker. No good from outside. To the wing right side. None. Misses the three. Pelicans trail by 21. Here's Alexander Walker. He's got seven. Passes it to Birch. Hart with it. Out to the wing. Here's Alexander Walker. That one, no good. Out to the right wing. Lobs it up for Anthony. And it's Anthony with the jam. Oh, tally up another helper for Rondo. I mean, he just wow, keeps climbing that all time. Assistless. Incredible career that keeps going. Pass to Murphy. He kicks to Hayes. Knocked loose. LeBron, that's a two-pointer. Rebounded by Hart. Hart's got four rebounds in this game. Pass to Alexander Walker. In the corner, it's Birch. Now, here's Hart. New Orleans moving the ball around. Here's Alexander Walker. Bangs home the trifecta. Alexander Walker's got a pair of threes now here in the third for New Orleans. Outside Rondo. There's the pass to Nunn. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. Nunn's got ten points. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, these days, so much emphasis on the perimeter game. But you can see why after that sequence. Pass to Murphy. Down low. It's good. Nice touch there from Birch. Birch has got his first bucket in this one. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Here's Rondo. James trying to free himself up. Nice shot by Rondo. As a defender, you can never let Rondo get going to the hoop. Make him take the check. Here's Alexander Walker. Ten points for him. And Murphy kicks to Hayes. And he gets the friendly That's spin, and that one drops. He's got six. Lakers leading by 21. And here's Rondo. He's got eight. One forty-six left to play here in the third. Here's Alexander Walker. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half, getting away from the three-point shot. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And the Lakers making a change here. Bradley's checked in. There's 138 left to play in the third. Outside Rondo. On the wing, James. And it's off from three-point range. Pelicans trail by 18. Now, here's Hart. Seven points in the game. Hayes the pass to Alexander Walker. And here is Hart. Five to shoot. Off target from three-point range. 
Now here's Rondo, covered by Hayes. Outside Brent. Over Murphy. Los Angeles with another miss. New Orleans has gone three of seven from three-point range here in quarter number three. Birch kicks to Hart. Pass to Alexander Walker. Back to Hart. Fires top of the key. A fresh 14 for New Orleans. And the rejection by LeBron. Birch with it. He's picked up by Rondo. Birch the pass to Hart. It's good from long range. Hart's got 10 points in the game. This is just a trademark of Hart's game. A solid three-point sniper who looks to shoot from wherever he can. LeBron passes to Horton Tucker. Here's Bradley. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. Their lead at 15 going into the break. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. We come back right after this. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Yeah, he put it on a platter and it's served cold. Now, I love the poise, the decisiveness. This is how you run an offense. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. So with LeBron on the bench, this is who Frank Vogel is out there. We've got Russell Westbrook. Kent Bazemore is out there with Anthony Davis. Then there's Bradley, and it's Horton Tucker in at the small forward. Hart with it for Davis. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Outside Brandon. Pass to Davis. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Here's Westbrook. That one falls. Pretty comfortable mid range. You can't let Westbrook get in the groove from there. Hart the pass to Birch. Here's Alexander Walker. Guarded by Brett. Kicks it to Williamson. Wants to get it to Bazemore and does. Now the pass to Westbrook. Bradley dishes to Bazemore. Outside Brent. To the middle. And Westbrook gets it to go on the assist by Brent. And the Lakers lead by 17. Oh, nice look by Bradley. Moving it to the open man. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, Coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. And what an alley of those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. Pelicans trail by 17. Here's Alexander Walker. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Yeah, nice, strong finish there. Nearly a three-point opportunity. Shooting for New Orleans. Nikhil Alexander Walker. Shooting two. And he can't get the first one. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for the Lakers. Oh. 
And he's good on the second. Now Westbrook. To the inside. And Jordan gets it to go. And the Lakers lead by 18. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Passes it to Graham. Here's Alexander Walker. He's covered by Westbrook. They get it back for Los Angeles. They've gone a perfect 4 of 4 to start the final quarter. Can't ask for anything more than that. Westbrook double team. Pays more on the win. Pass to Jordan. Outside Bradley. Now Westbrook beyond the arc. Makes that one his sixth of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Pass to Alexander Walker. Well, Greg, for those of us who have never played in the league, what's it like traveling all over the country over the course of a long regular season? Come on, Kevin. I bet you had a nice J back in the day. But seriously, it's a whirlwind tour, man. Sometimes you don't even know what city you wake up in. And I can tell you there have been many times where I'm going back to the front desk and complaining because my key didn't work and only to find out I was using the wrong key. James checked in for Bradley. And this spot has always been Jordan's biggest drawback. Uh, he's never been able to make his free throws at, at even a modest rate. And teams are never afraid to put him on the line. Williamson finds Ingram. And here is Graham. Five on the clock. Allen Judas trying to free himself up. Graham with the bucket. So it's the Lakers now. And there's the pass to Baseman. Back to Westbrook. LeBron outside from downtown. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got his ninth assist in the game now. Graham, the pass to Williamson. He kicks it to Ingram from outside the arc. And again, New Orleans with the triple. And the three-pointers is becoming a weapon for him. You can see it. I mean, this is the second of this half, third overall. Back to Westbrook. James outside. And that one drops. LeBron's got 15 points in just the second half. How about this turnaround? He played a fringe role in the first half, and, and now he's the man for it. Williamson, the pass to Alexander Walker. No good on the triple. Lakers lead by 21. To the paint. Here's Davis again, Los Angeles. Such an effective reverse this morning. Once Davis starts to get going, he, he's tough to slow down. Graham kicks to Ingram. Passes it to Williamson. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Davis. Nice deed from Valanciunas. New Orleans has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. It's stolen by Davis. Pass to Westbrook. The game now requires so much movement. Big men have to cover a lot more ground. We know that. They are on the perimeter, Chris. Does that add some strain physically? Yeah, I mean, I mean, maybe. Who, who knows? But it's less bumps and bruises, and which to me was more wear and tear. So I think every case is different. I don't think you could put a blanket statement over that. But uh, you have to have some skill set today. Get out and run and guard in some different positions. Bring him against Westbrook. And that one's Zion good. Williamson. Williams. 21 points for Zion Devontae Williamson. Oh, uh, yeah, the broad shoulders, the long arms. Very difficult to challenge Zion's shot with any level of effectiveness. 
Westbrook dishes to James. It's stolen by Valanciunas. Ingram finds Graham. Back to Ingram. Here's Alexander Walker. He's covered by Bazemore. And yes, it's good. Oh, it's all about the assist on that play. He puts it in the perfect spot. Westbrook passes to Bazemore. Davis up top. High post try. And that one comes up a bit short. Pelicans trail by 21. Down low. Here's Williamson. That's good. And it's Ingram with the assist. Ingram's got three assists in the game. And I tell you what, they're doing their best to cut down the lead with some smart offense here in the second half. Shot selection much improved since the break. And Westbrook gets it to go. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Ingram wide open. Traps in the tray. Ingram's got 26 points. Three-point range from his days at Duke. Ingram shoots with range. Westbrook kicks it to Bazemore. Double team on Westbrook. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And the Lakers with possession here. Jordan dishes to Westbrook. And another basket for the Lakers. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. And the rejection by LeBron. Oh, you got to be cautious around James. He's always on the hunt to swat away shots. Defense in your rear view may be closer than they appear. Here's Ingram. Sinks that one from the post. Time out, time out. And he has 28 points for the game. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. Los Angeles calls timeout. present our New Balance player of the game, Devontae Graham. And I love that it's been a hard-charging performance. Jump shots have been kind of an afterthought. His main goal has been to attack the rim and put the D in some tough spots and also finishing strong. Here's none. To Ellington. And the pass to Monk. Over Hernan Gomez. And too long on the shot. Pelicans trail by 18. Now here's Ingram. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Ingram's got 13 points now in the quarter. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is can they ride him and get back into it? Passes to a reason to the middle, stolen by Sadaransky. Who is outside? Trying to find Hernan Gomez to do him over Monk. Hernan Gomez passes to Ingram, just two to shoot. Sadaransky, no good on the three. Lakers lead by 16. None gets to Monk. New Orleans foul. 
And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for a reason. James comes in for Wayne Ellington. Kent Bazemore's checked in for Malik Monk. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Kendrick Nunn. A big group substitution here for New Orleans. Jonas Valanciunas, he's checked in for Hernan Gomez. Zion Williamson comes in for Jones. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for Sederansk. And Devontae Graham subbed in for Lewis. LeBron outside. Kicks at the basement. Just five to shoot. Lakers working the ball around now. On deep. Pelicans pull it in. Inside. Here's Williamson. Here's Valanciunas. And it's Valanciunas finishing it off. And all of a sudden, things finally coming together for them. The deficit still large, but now not insurmountable. And, and the longer the run goes on, the more momentum will swing their way. James, the pass to baseball. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. James has got assist number seven for him tonight. Westbrook against Graham. And here's Ingram from the arc. A three-pointer is right on target. Ingram's got 33. Well, Ingram saw the opportunity to hit a three and wasn't having any of it. That's a cold-blooded competitor. Westbrook against Graham. Jordan kicks to Westbrook. And they double up James. And the rejection by Valanciunas. Oh, you love seeing Valanciunas spike it back. When he's active on this end, it makes a difference. And Listen, clearly, uh, we will not be witnessing a spirited comeback tonight, albeit as exciting as that would be. This was an excellent all-around performance Shooting for Los for Angeles. Wall. Look at their number of assists. You know, they didn't get stuck in those one-on-one -on -one situations, and, and they got the ball to the guys with the best matchups. Easy drives, open One jumpers, shot. and great ball movement. And the strong effort here will convert into what will be their 50th win on the season. And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. Two more games ahead, and they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight. And as usual, great numbers and a dominant display for Anthony Davis. Well, he was a scary man at the defensive end with all those blocks. Even the shots he didn't get a hand on, he affected. He forced a lot of misses out there. And the dunk by James. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. Uh, that's why they're in the driver's seat right now, looking to put this one away. A jump hook, and they pick up two. Williams. Look, it's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. Yeah, yeah, it has to be frustrating to catch fire when the game is already over. I mean, it's not the outcome. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, I love how they play for one another out there. No signs of selfishness. They're just a total wow. team effort. No hesitation at all on the alley-oop. Saw his teammate with a pat to the hoop, and bang, lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. Ingram against LeBron. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easier. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. And I think they built off that edge of being here and, and play with just a little more confidence than their opponent. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much. LeBron, when you know AD is behind you, how does that help you defensively? You can stay home. You can allow him to play one-on-one -on -one versus a guard versus a big, and you can stay home and be able to box out and get rebounds because he's that good. It's quite a one-two punch, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. David, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. For Chris Weber, Craig Anthony, and David Oldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for being with us. See you later.